Labor Department is going to soon be issuing an emergency rule to implement vaccination requirements. This action is not just federal overreach, it's unconstitutional. President Joe Biden talking vaccine mandates today and state leaders here in Oklahoma are talking back. Good evening and thank you for watching 2 News at 10. I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Mike Brooks, our top story at 10, all about vaccine mandates. 2 News Oklahoma's Mason Morrow is going in depth for us tonight to find out whether that mandate breaches your personal rights. This action is not just federal overreach, it's unconstitutional. The president appears to be in pretty firm ground. The debate over public health and personal choice. In a week's time, President Joe Biden plans to end that discussion for thousands across Oklahoma. Faced with an impossible choice, get the vaccine or lose your job. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt once again spoke out against the president's decision to mandate COVID-19 vaccines or frequent COVID testing for companies with more than 100 employees. Biden first announced the requirements back in September. And on Thursday, the president teased an emergency rule issuing soon by the Labor Department. We have critical work to do, but we can't let up now. Businesses should have the freedom to make decisions based on their circumstances. When the government starts to pick winners and losers, we are headed down a slippery slope. In all likelihood, the president does have this authority. Tim Gilpin, an attorney in Tulsa with practice in constitutional law, says there is precedence for the federal government and state agencies requiring vaccinations in places like schools. Vaccines and the ability to mandate in the American experience has lasted for decades, if not almost a century. However, a requirement for private businesses is a whole separate discussion. Gilpin says federal employees and government contractors must opt into the vaccine to secure their jobs. But he says the latest anticipated move by Biden doesn't fall under the same umbrella. Gilpin says according to federal regulation, private companies with more than 100 employees are considered large enough to affect interstate commerce and therefore they must follow federal health rules. That's where you would talk about the federal government coming in in a regulatory form and saying the vaccines have to be mandated. Gilpin says those workers likely can't dodge the vaccine and still keep their job. You're likely going to have to take that vaccine. In Tulsa, Mason Morrow, 2 News Oklahoma.